Hey guys, and welcome back to a Medieval. When we last left off, we made it through the Crystal Caves, fought the dragon, and we received the dragon armor, which will make us impervious to fire and allow us to breathe fire as well. Well, I don't think breathing fire ever comes in that useful, but uh, being impervious to fire certainly has its perks. One such perk is in this mission. So, let's go to the gallows. The gallows gauntlet. Welcome to the gallows gauntlet, a luxurious getaway for a captured criminal. Rides include the sharpened pole slide, the serpent coaster, and everybody's favorite, the rope swing. <laughs> yes. Yes, we get some rather interesting enemies here, and right off the bat, you can see one. Um, they are impaled people on spikes yes lovely well no matter they look quite nasty but uh, a few swipes of the sword soon dispatches them take care not to wake the serpent of Galomir it is a most powerful supernatural creature that was bound somewhere within these chasm walls if you encounter it run hmm run you say well not Dan Dan doesn't run. Right, let's get a quick top up of health. You ready, Dan? We've got some more zombie prisoners here. There we go. We're dispensing their uh, their sentence in death. Sorry, guys. You may have thought you had a second chance, but Dan says otherwise. Resurrected my ass. Although we are taking a lot of damage here. These enemies are pretty tough, it's got to be said. Yeah, that's better. We still need at least three or possibly four health bottles. The fabled dragon armor was forged by dragons from an age long ago. Seek out any remaining dragons if you are to claim this mighty armor. Well, thank you, mysterious voice, but we've already done such. Yep, this level you absolutely need it to. Damn it, to continue. Uh, there is an exit there. Come on, Dan. Yeah, let's get these rope swingers. I love the enemy design on this level. It's so morbid. It's so funny. Unable to pass through the fiery dragon gate. Only use this alternative route if no other is available. Yeah. And return to the map of Galamir. So if you do uh, find yourself here without what you need, unfortunately, you have to exit and continue your search. Come on, Mr. Mummy. There we go. And then that is the uh, gate that she is talking about. But luckily, we have what we need. Let's try this fire out, shall we? Yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, God. Hello. Ah. Well, it seems to be doing okay, I suppose. But it's very short range. And I do like a bit of range if I'm stabbing and murdering things. It does have the added benefit that it will do damage over time. Which is nice. It definitely seems to work against the mummy. But then uh, fire is always a mummy's weakness in video games. Now, let's go through here. This magical barrier was constructed by the dragons of old. Only those brave enough to adorn the dragon armor may pass through this fiery gate. Is that right? Well, there we go. That was painless and easy, I suppose. Not too shabby. Okay, here we go. And here's the evil dragon lord. He will hound us throughout the entire level and continuously kick us in the sacks unless we get our magic sword out and hit him repeatedly in the face until he runs away. Yeah, we can't actually kill him per se. We just chase him off. Ah, Now let's start opening up some of these uh, doors, shall we? Come on, Dan. There we go. Hopefully get ourselves some treasure. We certainly need some more health. Because of course we do. We've totally balked that up. 
And there's a rune. We need runes. Runes are good. Damn, down to three and a half bottles of health. Oof. That's not brilliant. Okay, that's this place uh, completely mapped out. I always thought you could go in there, but you can't. Run, little Dan. Let's get out of here. Now, let's go and gather up valuables. Ah, uh, life. Notice we still can't get the chalice. Hmm. No matter. We shan't be leaving without it. Don't you worry about that. Some more treasure. And I guess we can activate the skull chest just because. We don't actually get anything from it, sadly. Uh, now, more cells. There were more cells here somewhere. There we go. There's the rune that we so desperately needed. And the button that releases the chalice. However, we still cannot get the chalice. But we're on 90%, so we're basically almost there. Man, we really took a bit of a knock to our health as well. Look at all these guys through here. Come fools! Meet your destiny. Ooh, that worked. Oh, nice. You know, this fire seems to be working quite well against these idiots. And uh, I'm not even mad about that. I guess the fire doesn't do damage. Unless you're closer. I don't really know what the deal with that is. That was a bit strange. This game is weird, man. Anyway, let's go get our chalice so we can go to the Hall of Heroes. Uh, I believe I've gone past the chalice. I have, because of course I have. That's what I do. Um, 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 um. If I was a chalice, I'd be down here. Yes. There we go. Nice. The Hall of Heroes awaits. Brilliant. Let's go, Dan. And when we're in the Hall of Heroes, we can recite the enemies that we just killed. And this level took seven minutes. Yes. Seven minutes. Oof. Damn. Oh, this is a, <laughs> a little bit of a short video. This, this video is too short. We'll add another level onto it. Okay. So, 16. 16. That is not too shabby, Dan. Not too shabby at all. Now, who can we get to see? Do we have options? Or is there just one person? Ah. What do you have? I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what Is that right? You fancy a little gamble, right? It's not really a gamble, but I'll have it. Ooh, a life bottle. Excellent. And that's actually restored our health, which is really freaking nice. So I don't have to go grind out health. Excellent. Okay, so we have uh, 16 chalices down. 16 chalices down. We only need to get... Ooh, nah. We only need to get um, four more chalices, four more levels. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I'm going to take a quick break in this video. This video is only nine minutes long. Really? Bugger. <laughs> and uh, when we come back, I guess we'll do the Haunted Ruins, which is actually a really fun level. Um, but, one second, guys. Right, now guys, let's uh, head into the Haunted Ruins, because the last video was like nine minutes long or something, or the last part, I should say. The Haunted Ruins. Some say King Peregrine's castle has seen better days, but the Shadow Demons beg to differ. It's a lot more peaceful without all those pesky humans around. Hmm. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. However... There is actually still some humans in the castle, but we'll get to those in a little bit.
when the game loads. Damn these ancient mechanical drives. Ooh. And there they are. There's some humans. About to be burnt to death. Yeah, that's actually something that can happen. Um, we need to be quick, like. Anyway, before we worry about that, let's read the book. Since the farmers have been captured by the shadow demon, the animals here have gone hungry. Hmm, I didn't know they were going that hungry. Fat bastards are eating everything in sight. Well, that might just help us out, to be fair. Go, my chickens. Go and grow fat with seeds. Or grain, I suppose. It's probably corn, isn't it? That makes sense. And uh, you will unwittingly find me a button. Yes! A button that apparently is stopping the drawbridge from uh, opening. Well done, Dan. Well done. That was some, uh, some good work. Now, uh, there are also a couple of other piles here that they can eat away, but there's nothing else there. Uh, so I think the only thing we can do is move on. And look at these weird effigies. These were actually like King Peregrine's... Oh, look at that. Look at the chain clipping through the wall there. Attention to detail, developers. Damn. Hello. Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal house. I see. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. Damn. Really is a sad tale of woe that's um, bestowed Gallomere. Huh. Yeah, these are weird. They seem really out of place. More like an evil castle, but apparently King... Peregrin was just so I don't know anyway let's keep going we are going to use our magical bow because this thing is a beast I don't know why we have our dragon armor selected we don't really need that to be honest let's go for the magic sword yes the farmers are being held in the courtyard at the first sign of trouble, the shadow demons will sacrifice the captives to the flame. Oof. Move quickly, slay the demons on guard, and release the farmers. Yeah, so, um, if we actually dawdle with this and uh, let the farmers burn to death, we actually get in trouble. Well, I don't get in trouble per se, but we lose um, souls from our uh, chalice, which is bad. Which means we can then no longer pick the chalice up. But if we jump down here like a badass and slaughter the lot of them with our magical bow in seconds, well, we become the hero. All right, guys. How's it hanging? I'm Dan. I'm your heroic savior today. Now, it's not enough to just kill the demons. No, we need to extinguish the flames as well. A little bit like that. All right, guys. Cool your bean. Calm your tits. Dan's here. Yes, because you can also release these guys uh, whilst the fires are still there. And, well, you don't need to be an uh, intelligent person to know what would happen. But let's go follow these farmers. Thank you for rescuing us, kind sir. Forgive us, master. We have no pig to reward. Damn. But we'd be honored if you'd accept these shiny gold-colored stones as a token of our mm, Well... If I must, I'd rather had a pig. But fine. Coin will have to suffice. Ingrateful bastards. Anyway, let's keep going. Ah, uh, now, yes, yeah, so I always thought that was kind of an optional mission, but it's not that optional if you want to uh, get the chalice. Now, where is that guy? There we go. Your soul is mine. Who's next? Ah, it's just him, I think. Yep, this bow is pretty badass against these guys. 
It's almost a one shot. I think at worst it's a two shot kill. It's really freaking good against Shadow Demons. Um, but like I say, at putting out damage, it's really impressive. But you just can't hold a lot of ammo for it and it is very expensive. Hot scalding oil. Burn your skeletal toes that way. Better find a way to close the oil vents before crossing. Bagger. They thought of everything. Hot scalding oil, you say. Hmm. Well, I don't think that would do too much damage to Dan. I'm just saying. He has bones, after all. We need some coin here. And there's the chalice. Can't collect that bugger just yet. So, with only one way left, let's go, Dan. Let's keep moving forwards. And who the bloody hell thought it was a good idea to leave these cannons going? Jesus. Okay. Luckily, they're not too hard to dodge. Get out of here. I don't know why you think this is so terrifying. I think you're rather trivial, to be honest. Um, I suppose it's expensive, but we've got the coin. Let's load up on... Um, Magical arrows, because we're certainly using them here. And to be fair, I do think they're one of the best ways of dispatching these. But yep, one shot on the flying demons. Get out of here. Good old Dan. I mean, he's pretty much a master with every weapon. Oh, we have new enemies down here. We don't need that anymore. So let's switch up to the longsword. Hey guys, allow me to release you from your undeath. Undeath, is that a phrase? It is now. Hey friend, can you stop throwing your maces at me? Now these guys are fairly similar from the guys that we met on the battlefield. The swamps of the dead or the pools of the ancient dead. Um, but they are different. They're actually fully armoured this time, as you can see. And, oh shit, on top of everything else, instead of throwing an axe at us, they throw maces at us. Maesai? Magi? I don't know. So bear that in mind. Right, we've got a rune, or we should have a rune. We do have a rune. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah, you're not as terrifying as you like to believe you are. I'm just going to throw that out there. Get out of here. Has been. Now, there's nothing there. I kept thinking when I was playing this the first time that there'd be some kind of secret here. Now, we can obviously use our flaming armor to get through that without getting hit, but what's the point? Long ago, this was once the majestic throne room of King Peregrine. Now, foul demons stalk the corridor. Ah, the spirit of the king must be saddened indeed. Hmm. I, I guess so. Well, I wonder if he's still loitering around this place. Can we go see our old employer? Now, this, at least this time, Dan, he's dead. So he has no power over us. But then Sometimes we're dead the ghost as well. King Peregrine can be seen wandering these halls or sitting mournfully upon his throne. Find his crown, and perhaps you can summon him. Interesting idea. Right. Oh, look at these. This whole area looks really cool. Well, <sighs> that was unfortunate, wasn't it? Get out of here, you damn pretender. Better switch up to the bow, Dan. Have some of that. My holy shots. There we go. Holy arrows seem to be doing their, their job for now. Got two ways to go. We have... Ooh. That's what we want. Get out of here, sir. You going to come back for some more? Of course you are. You guys are a little bit stronger than the flying t uh, types. Which is fine. The castle was constructed on top of a dormant volcano. Oh. This great floodgate is all that stands between you and a very hot shower. Oof. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
we are a skeleton, so... I don't know what the uh, melting point of bones is. But I think it's quite high, actually. And uh, hopefully we can just be magically reanimated. Because this life magic seems to be fairly potent stuff. Okay. Right, well, let's go see if we can summon the king this time. Without falling through the trapdoor. Like a burk. Dan, you're a burk. Uh, any other goodies here? No. And look at this evil, McEvil throne. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right? It's cool. It's an awesome throne. But it's evil McEvil, man. So and there's the king. Noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Yes. Good God, Fortescue. What's <laughs> happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarot's army of shadow demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare, as we speak, to invade Fair Galadia. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top. We must unleash the lava behind the front. Makes sense. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can put it. Of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Eh, Fortescue? <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Good luck, old friend. Well, Dan, it's up to us, my friend. Hmm, let's grab the rune. Found the earth rune. I mean, that's useful. Actually, we are going to use the dragon armor here because it's actually really bloody useful here. No, let's flip the switch and hope for the best. Ah, we'll be eight. So, now we have three minutes to escape before we uh, are annihilated by the lava. Now, we can't hurt these stone golems, but they can hurt us. Now, the flamethrower, or the flame breath, seems to be the best weapon uh, against these things. And I think the reason for that is quite simple, um, that... Counts as like a rapid fire succession of hits. Tablet, please be quiet. Do I have to mute you? I do have to mute you, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, so it counts as a rapid succession of hits, so it's the best option. Um, also, by using this, all these spouts of fire shooting up all over the place don't hurt us. And it's not an awful way to kill these shadow demons. It certainly works better than you would have thought. Who would have thought these shadow demons would be so susceptible to flame? Not I, that's for sure. Okay, now there is an important thing you have to do here. Um, and if you don't do it, you're fucked. Happened to me the first time I played this remaster because I forgot. The chalice can now be collected. We have to go in here. And we have to use the rune. And that will drain the hot scolding uh, lava. Or the hot scolding tar, I should say. Now, do not forget to come up here, Dan. And collect the chalice. That would be bad, Dan. We want the chalice. We need it. Now, three minutes also seems like... Uh, a bit of a short timer, but it's actually not. We have more than enough time. In fact, we should be able to grab that. Yeah, notice Dan's actually screaming out or like yelling out in pain as he's getting flamed, but he's not taking any damage. 
Now, if you don't use the green earth rune there, um, the hot boiling hey, oil the is still there. To be destroyed. The gates are locked. Find an alternative means of travel. Oh, gee. I wonder if that massive, great big catapult there is probably what you're talking about. All right. Well, before we get out of here, let's grab the coins. Because coins, yo. We have spent a lot of coin on... Yeah on the uh, arrows which is definitely not a waste because those arrows man boom there is our exit come on dan let's fly yeah dan dan thank you so we don't have time to ask around here now that is an exit and we make it once again to the hall of heroes and I can't remember what we get this time. I have a feeling it's either gold or another health bottle. Another health bottle would be nice. So, we're up to 17. Three levels left, guys. But that's not the end of the mission. Or the end of the journey, I should say. There's a Brucey bonus added into this uh, remaster, which... Well, it could have been better. I didn't think you got anything for doing it. But actually, the uh, extra quest on the end of the game, quote, quest, is how you unlock the original game. And I imagine there's a few people that probably don't know about it. Ooh, so we can go to her. Or who else can we go to? Her or... I'm guessing we have another choice. Nope, I guess not. Okay, that's cool. That makes our choice easy. Well, hello, stranger. I've got a little present. You do? Why don't you shut your eye and hold out your hand? Sounds like a plan. Do it, Dan. Oh, it, it it's energy vials. It's energy <sighs> Lady Not even worth our time, Dan. I'm glad we trashed the place. Not even worth our bloody time. Well, what a disappointment. Let's see what we've got here, shall we? We have chickens, you say. This feather brain flock isn't good for much. Not even shadow demon food. Farmers are far more filling. You may find yourself relying on their dim wit. But cross that drawbridge when you come to it. Hint much? Are these good men? Their farmyard toil puts food on the plates of the nation, but at what price? Could mutant pumpkins be the result of forcing innocent pumpkins to consume their fleshy brethren? Does safeguarding one's crops justify deployment of homicidal scarecrows? Who will speak for the wolves? Save them or don't. It's up to you. Jesus, don't hold back. Christ. Well, we saved them, but only because we wanted the chalice. Wise King Peregrine, they used to say. But seriously, this guy sent his entire army to battle the undead led by you. Does that sound like someone wise? Somehow that battle was won without you, but it didn't really help King Peregrine. He died a few days later after choking on a Brussels sprout. They say his ghost lingers still in the haunted ruins, that he paces the halls late at night, coughing up sprout chunks. I think this story proves beyond a doubt that no one should ever eat Brussels sprouts. Wow. So we have heroes choking themselves to death on sausage. We have kings choking themselves to death on Brussels sprouts. Oof. Galamir is a savage place. Still, I actually quite like Brussels sprouts with a bit of vinegar. Cooked up with lemon. Mm. Oh, God. We've got a lot to get through here. Cool. Cool. Have no pity for these fools. They were once Galamir's most heinous criminals, as fearsome in life as they are now in death. What a world we live in, where the guilty execute the innocent. 
Yeah, that's pretty savage. Look how gruesome that looks. Oh, I love the art style in this game. We really do need to dip our toes back into this universe. I'd love a fresh game. These slow-moving busybodies are, like, so wrapped up in themselves. <laughs> Once Galamir's elite, they now walk alongside the common corpses. <laughs> Death brings everyone together. I guess it does. This mean-spirited snake was always viewed as the lesser serpent's sibling. It was always Kolkatoa this and Kolkatoa that. Well, if no one wants to worship him, let there be no worshippers at Ooh, all. Ooh, so he's the jealous type. Mace Knights. These brain-dead bodyguards still defend King Peregrine. Uh, don't tell them of his passing. <laughs> they would be devastated. Trained in small arms, these knights must throw their weapons due to their small arms. Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Stone golems were once the hottest ticket in castle security. And King Peregrine was one of the first to purchase a pair for his personal protection. Of course, they say you should always skip the first generation of new tech. Accurate. And when Gollum started to stomp all and sundry, the manufacturers were forced to issue a full product recall. <sighs> Sadly, King Peregrine missed the recall note on account of being dead. And his golems are still guarding, still stomping. <laughs> well, they were until we knocked them uh, all the way up to the castle, which was fun. Anyway... Okay. Oh, we might as well top up on magical arrows whilst we're here. There we go. Get another load of them, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Right. Enjoy, my greedy little bastard of a friend. Let's get out of here, guys. So that actually leads us quite nicely into pretty much a half an hour video. Very happy with that. So guys, when we return, ooh, we're in for a doozy of a level. We are indeed. I like this level and I hate this level at the same time. The ghost ship. It's actually quite a long level. Um, but it is one of the more interesting locales in Gallomere. And I'm sure we're going to have a good time. It's also fairly difficult. But hey, that's for next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.